While you naturally want your business premises to be as open and welcoming as possible, you need to ensure maximum protection against unauthorized intruders. 2N's access control system represents a combination of reliability, security and convenience. The robust 2N IP Force is the toughest intercom on the market. In combination with two microphones, the 10 watt speaker ensures loud and clear communication and suppresses ambient noise. The key advantage of the entire 2N access control solution is the use of IP technology. Forget about separate controllers, extension boards and proprietary cabling. All 2N devices are connected and simultaneously powered via the network infrastructure, which is also shared with IP telephony or camera systems. The door lock may be connected directly to and powered by the device, so there's really no need for any extra cabling. This offers dramatic savings in installation costs. Integration plays a key role in selecting access control and communication systems. This is why we rely on open protocols. You can, for example, integrate 2N's access system with camera systems, VMS, IP telephony or unified communications, and unified security platforms. By integrating systems, you'll be able to control everything from a single user environment and set up automated processes, which will save you time and money. Take a look at the 2N Integration Hub and select from over 200 solutions. Do you still think 2N is just about intercoms? Creating the future in letting people in and up. Smart. Safe. Innovative. Minimalistic elegant design. Shining display and a special installation patent. That those are my impression from 2NIP style. I'm standing here with Thomas Vistavel, our chief product officer, who will reveal more about 2NIP style. Before you start, Thomas, can you tell us something funny from the development of this product? Something funny. Well, everybody, for example, everybody thinks that the most difficult part is to code it, create a software or, for example, design the molds and uh, the product itself. But actually, the most difficult thing in 2N is always to create a name for the new product. Because everybody's got opinion how it should be named and that's difficult. But you did, the, you did a great job, really. It has style. Yeah, we did it with style. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. So let me start my presentation with short introduction of the product. High-end materials, large display, powerful hardware inside. Together with really minimalistic design, this product was built to last. And we believe we have created really a flagship product that will be showing possibilities we have in 2N today. That is 2N IP style. In my presentation, I would like to cover three topics. First of all, I would like to share with you what was the background, why we actually started to think about uh, create product like 2NIP style, what were the reasons. Uh, in the second part, I would like to show you the best or the uh, unique features we have um, uh, given to the style uh, to be really a uh, uh, product that uh, is a flagship. And on the last but not least, uh, I would like to show you or end up on a note about the integrations because at the end of the day, this is an integration event. So what were the reasons that led us to develop product like 2NIP style? We were selling 2NIP Verso, which is our current flagship and it was mentioned in the previous presentations to the uh, office and residential vertical for a couple of years already. And I believe we are very successful in that. Actually, 2NIP Verso really is the best selling product we have today for these verticals. Uh, and since we are selling it for a couple of years, as I mentioned, uh, we have also a lot of experience. We gained the knowledge within these verticals. We have feedback from you, from your customers, what they are looking for. One of the feedbacks we had, and we have actually turned into the product like, like IP style is, is that you wanted something which is more simpler to sell 
just one ordering number, everything that is needed for a specific type of projects in one simple package. That's actually IP style. Unlike Verso, it's non-modular. Uh, you have just one ordering number for the product itself. Uh, but it's actually covering all of the needs that uh, are there in these verticals, especially in higher-end and high-end projects. The second reason uh, was that being acquired or being part of the Access, uh, Access uh, Group, uh, we've been asked uh, by our customers right after the acquisition, when we're going to implement Access Camera into our intercom. Because you know, people understand Access as somebody who has got the best cameras uh, worldwide. Uh, and actually today is the day uh, to an IP style is having the best of the uh, technology that is um, in Access Garage. And thanks to this new generation platform, next generation platform, we're able to achieve such a quality as Access Cameras got uh, for the video surveillance purposes. Speaking about the next generation platform, uh, that is one of the first things I would like to share with you. What's, what are the news with the IP style compared to the uh, portfolio we have today? The platform we are using is truly next generation platform for in the intercom world. We are using chipset made by Access for their cameras and it's actually 7th generation of their CPU called ArtPack. It's giving us really a huge computing power uh, for any video application obviously, but also it's got enough computing power for other applications that we need to run on our intercom. This platform was made for the best quality cameras worldwide and actually it, helped, it really helped us to improve video quality in our intercoms. IP Verso was always considered as intercom with very good camera with good performance during the night. With this new platform we are getting far beyond what Verso is capable to do. The sensitivity of the chipsets, the quality of the lenses, together with the post-processing and the ArtPack uh, processor is giving us, first of all, big advantage in how intercom sees during the low light conditions. Where Verzo need to switch to uh, infrared night mode and turn to black and white, uh, so it could see during the dark, uh, in that situation IP style is seeing in full color image uh, bright enough so you don't need to turn any artificial light at all. Actually it turns to the uh, IR night mode only in the situation when there is no light at all. For example, it will close it to the box. So in most of the applications it will provide you with full color picture without any artificial light needed. That's how sensitive the whole um, combination of processor, camera and lenses are. The second, I would say, unique feature uh, in intercom world is wide dynamic range. Unlike with camera, when you have intercom, you have no, not that much of, let's say, places where you can put it. It's actually something that needs to be uh, at the entrance to the building. If you're unlucky, uh, the entrance is power, it's pointed towards to the south or southwest, for example. So most of the day, you will have direct sunlight into the camera uh, mounted in the intercom. In that, case, in that case, you will get overexposed image or, for example, just uh, black uh, circle instead of the face of the visitor. IP style is having the best <coughs> WDR that X has got in their chipsets and the image that it will provide you will be sharp, full of details, no matter what are the light conditions in front of the intercom. Obvious feature of IP style is its large display. It's actually a 10-inch LCD display. But its size, it's not the only thing that matters. It really matters how you will use uh, the screen to make it comfortable for the visitors and easy to use. We have paid really a lot of attention on our UX department to create a display according to the feedback and experiences we've gained in the uh, office and residential vertical. First of all, we knew that how you use intercom in office vertical really differs from how you use it in residential vertical. There are different needs of the visitors. Um, you are using different features of the display. That's why we created actually two intercoms in one, because we have two sets of the screens, one are, that are mentioned to be used for the residential use, and the second ones that are mentioned to be for the office use. This way you can choose where the intercom is installed and we will provide you the best user experience possible. 
The second thing with the display is that you need to be able to use it under any conditions. It doesn't matter when there is a lot of sunlight, so the display needs to be ready with high brightness so you can read it out. Or when there is a like freezing temperatures and the display needs to be fast enough and need, need to be able to operate in these temperatures. Or for example, when it's wet because it's raining. In all of these conditions, we've tested the display and it's able to work without any hesitation. Speaking about the display, 10 inch screen, it's large, covered by glass. It could be seen as something which is fragile. Uh, that is actually not true with the IP style. We made IP style and tested it the way that it can really withstand without any damage all of the conditions that may be possible for usage of such an intercom. We have already tested it uh, in our premises and in our laboratories, so we are pretty sure that, or pretty sure we are certified, which is more Im important, that we are certified on IK08 um, impact resistance. What does it mean? How to translate that is that the intercom can uh, survive everyday heavily used in office buildings or for example if it's installed somewhere in apartment building and some kid will try to test how durable it is and throw a rock on it, uh, there is high chance that it will survive it without any scratches at all. That's how durable the screen and the glass which is chemically hardened is. The second thing is how um, resistant it is against the weather conditions. Uh, we are certifying or the intercom is certified on IP65 ingression grade and uh, you can see the picture behind me where it's installed uh, on the roof of to an R&D building. There is a small sticker saying that it was installed uh, in July 27, 2020. From that day, and this is one of the first engineering samples, from that day it's on that building, it's streaming video 24-7, so it's under a heavy load and there is no hesitation with the product. It survived hot summer during 2020 in Czech Republic, it survived winter, uh, storms, heavy rain, heavy wind, without any issues at all. That's how we can prove and we are so uh, sure that the product will withstand any abuse and any conditions you can, it can face during its life. Speaking about the installation on the roof, installation is one, it's actually another topic uh, that we really paid attention to. And that's because installation is sometimes uh, uh, stress uh, that um, uh, the technicians need to meet because you have a pricey product, you have, for example, glass door or some pricey materials that you need to install the intercom in. And we know how difficult sometimes it can be because we talk to the technicians, we are getting feedback from them. We have spent a lot of hours and a lot of liters of coffee on our uh, development and actually we have gained two patents uh, for the installation box for IP style. One is used for the elevation or eleva elevation of the IP style's body uh, against to the uh, recessed mount box. If you by accident, for example, put the mounting box uh, to the wall a little bit deeper than it was intended, don't worry, there is a mechanism that will help you elevate it back so the result will be always perfect no matter how you will install uh, the box into the wall. And the second mechanism is helping you when doing the wiring of the intercom. You can prepare everything in advance and then just put intercom into the mechanics and connect it with your hands free. How it works, again, uh, one picture is worth a thousand words. Let me show you on the video. When it comes to access control, we have chosen the right combination of flavors for you into an IP style. So you don't have to think about what technology you want to or you need to use. We have the right ones based on your experiences and feedback we got from the market. First technology is wave key technology. Thomas was also was already mentioning that in his presentation. Our newest technology based on Bluetooth. So you have just your phone in the pocket passing through. Simple, safe, fast. Second technology is a rock solid combination of two card readers, 
One is for the older 125 kilohertz cards. The second one is smart card reader with any possible combination of credentials uh, on today's market, including HID secured cards. And the third one is pin keypad that can be used in few different modes. First one is for double authentication combined with the uh, wave key or with the RFID. And the second one is like a backup, simple pin uh, that you can enter into the keypad. But of course, we can use as in our IP Verso scrambled keypad to make it a little bit more secure than the classical pin keypad. That's the flavor mix we believe will suit every residential and office project today. So I was telling you that I will tell you something about uh, integration possibilities with uh, 2 an IP style. But I believe you will see those possibilities in upcoming presentations uh, from our partners. So let me just end up with a note. Let's integrate with style. And I believe that you are making the two and the best products because the integration is creating new products that you are in charge of. Thank you for your attention.